So back in Solomon's crown again, you see the thumbnail being an alpha female can destroy a relationship. But before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, not Taco Bell, but the subscription bell. To make sure that you get all the notifications whenever we upload a new video. So let's get right into it. This guy's like taking his Pops time. Bullshit. I mean, I did get a fresh <laughs> cut. So, like, I mean, I could pull off the beanie and we could be here for like, you know, but let's get it started. And my mom is a superhero because she was holding the house down. Right. What I'm doing as far as holding myself down and being an alpha female, which I didn't ask to be, right. is protecting myself mm -hmm. and protecting my kids. And if I even jump into a relationship, I'm still holding down. What you're doing is just self-destruct, period. So, of course, you can't use it as an excuse. Mine isn't an excuse. It's just what I had to do. When you say it's not self-destructive, you're right. What is destructive to your relationship when you run into a man and he has to climb a barbed wire fence before you trust him to lead because of your upbringing. See, and, and let's just be honest here. You run into a guy who's actually solid and he had comes in with structure and the plan and the, everything that we get to talk about. Women don't just, okay, you know what? You can, you can have it regardless of what he's showing her. He's showing her he a great dude. Still, she has to get over said programming that uh, she was a kid. And that's what I mean by, you may not be self-destructive, true, right? But you're destructive to the relationship, bro. A hundred percent, because, like, as much as like women want to be like, oh, well, I dealt with ain't shit ass niggas. Like, a lot of these dudes who are good dudes are just like, okay, like I realized, like the like that I was not the nicest person growing up and you had to realize that like, okay, maybe me not having a father in my life was a problem. Maybe me being raised by a single family mm -hmm. home was a problem. And even if that wasn't the problem, you have to look back on all the traumas that have happened in your life and be like, yo, I am not good for somebody else and I need to work on myself. But that's the thing. A man will do that and be like, yo, like, let me slow down. Let me take my time. And then you meet a woman and she's like the same, same shit. And you try to explain to her like, yo, like, I get that you got to be strong, things, this, this and that. But like, I'm not the person that you need to be fighting against. And they'll still not trust you and they'll still work against you. And then eventually it becomes this toxic relationship. And that goes on both sides. Like being a, too much of an alpha male where you're just trying to control a woman and you're not trying to hear her out. Boom or being a strong alpha woman where you're just like, I don't trust dudes, period, no matter what you do, no matter how much you prove to me, blah, blah, blah. That's just how it is. But how do you feel about that? I mean, I'm not even looking at it from that standpoint. I'm looking at it from what she said and the root cause of it. So I'll go on to say that I think that the legacy of slavery and the legacy of the feminist movement back in the 60s has been one of the most destructive forces in the black community because first of all when you go back to slavery a lot of the times black women were used to the men either being killed taken away separated or humiliated in front of them so a lot of the times they had to depend on themselves and to become the men or have masculine energy to defend themselves mm -hmm. so in that aspect you can't really blame a lot of black women and then to add insult to injury, you had the feminist movement yeah. in, modern, in recent modern times, which kind of tricked women to believe that they could do everything by themselves. They didn't need men, yada, yada, yada. So what she was saying, right, when she was describing her situation, she said her mom was a alpha female or whatever. So that's assuming that she didn't have a father in her life, right, to, to kind of like teach her hey, this is the example of a man that you should probably seek as a mate when you grow up, yada, yada, yada. Her mom was probably like, hey, this is what you need to do. You can't trust a man. You can't depend on a man. You need to be an independent boss, bae. So she grows up now and she says that, oh, I, I'm an alpha female because I had no choice because I had to, I need to protect myself. I need to protect my kids again assuming it's a, a good assumption that she doesn't have a husband or a baby father or a man in her life. So all I see from the outside looking in 
is a generation of broken women who are forced to be in um, a masculine uh, mind state because she says she's forced. It's not something that she necessarily is, oh, I'm proud to be in a masculine state or whatever, because I've seen some videos um, I've heard some women say, like, you know, being in a masculine frame is so tiring. Yeah. It's so tiring because that's not what women are usually built to be in, right? So she's kind of taking it as a badge of honor. And I think, as the guy alluded to, is a lot of the times, especially in um, the Black community, females either because of social media, their environment, what they were taught from their parents, their environment in general, they think that, oh, being a independent, strong woman is a is a badge of honor. Like I don't need no man. It's normal for it's normal for me to, you know, have children out of wedlock and have a bunch of children by myself. And I'm and I'm the leader and everything. That's normal. It's normal for boys to be thugs or like be betas and go into prison. All this stuff. It's it's normal for black men to have this stereotype of being useless and whatnot. So. When you see women like that, we 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 often in the red pill spaces complain, but a lot of the times it's kind of sad because we're literally a broken community in a lot of ways. Because how is she, as a single mom with all these calluses, with all this masculine energy, going to really find a dude that may be good for her? But in the end, she's gonna turn him off because it's like, what what stable dude would want to deal with a chick like that? And it's only, you know, just continuing this, this, you know, cycle of just dysfunction, in my opinion. But that's so, it even, so it even goes further than just, oh, I'm an alpha female, I'm this, and I'm an alpha male, and I'm that. Yeah, I mean, but that's the thing is, like, they've been talking about, like, uh, therapy in the black community for the last couple oh, of yeah, years. It's needed. Because, um, it's needed. Yeah, and the thing is, is, like, she feels like she has to be like that, but that's the thing is like an alpha woman is not trying to be submissive because they think that being submissive to a man, especially the wrong man will literally put them further back. And the thing yeah. is they're getting closer and closer to thinking like men, because like a lot of men are just like, yo, the more I deal with females, the more further back I get, the more distracted I get and the more um, I won't reach my goals because being in a relationship and being with a woman takes a lot of energy out of like your primary goals. Like if you think about dudes who are like pretty much successful and um, pushing towards their goals, most of them have a routine. What you can literally get on Instagram, look at any single guy and what is his routine? Wake up at four o'clock in the morning, journal, eat food, go to the gym, work for eight to 10 hours, go to the gym maybe again or watch a movie for like an hour, maybe two, go to sleep. In order to get eight hours, eight to nine hours of sleep, you literally can't be up all night texting somebody being like, oh, yeah, I miss you, blah, 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 this, this, and that. That's cutting into your sleep schedule. So, like, a mm -hmm. lot of men just do away with that all together and just be like, yo, like, I'm going to get my eight hours of sleep. Boom. I'm going to wake up every day at 3.30 in the morning. I'm going to do my routine. Throughout the day, you can text me and do all this other stuff. Maybe after I get off of work or after I'm done with work, we can go out and get dinner, things like that. And then at that point, it's just like, even if you're coming to spend the night, like I'm going to bed at like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, like, cause I got to be up at three 30 in the morning. Like, so unless, and the thing is, it's like back in the day, like women would get on men's programs because then that would also make them a better person. So imagine a woman who's waking up with you at 3 30 in the morning now she's spending the night at your house she's waking up at 3 30 in the morning she's like oh well i see that you're about to journal so i'll make you breakfast boom you guys make breakfast eat you guys have that personal time that conversation go to the gym okay cool i gotta go to work you gotta go to work or i'm off today while you're working i can clean i can do this i can do that Maybe he finishes work earlier and then you guys go for a run, you guys go for a jog, something like that. Like you go out and do something. And that's the thing is like a lot of these alpha women are kind of just like, well, I got to do everything myself. And it's like when you look at an alpha male, an alpha male is going to do that shit regardless of how he feels. And if somebody else comes into his plan, he's going to make it so that they are incorporated in that shit or they're just not in his life at all. So I get where this alpha mentality is like feeling like it's forced upon you because 
a lot of people just don't trust people. That's that's the biggest thing. It's like, and they've given their trust to a lot of people who have either left them or just made their lives worse. And just now it's like, okay, this is a callus that just continuously builds and just like, okay, build a wall, build a wall, build a wall, build a wall. So then when a good dude actually shows up, he's got to break down all these walls. And then when he finally breaks down all these walls, the woman's like, oh, I feel vulnerable. And it reminds them of like that time that they were hurt or that time they had to go through that trauma, blah, blah, blah. And then not blah, 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 but like you get what I'm saying. Like they mm -hmm. they get that like shell shock of like, oh, this is trauma. I, this is what I'm trying to get away from. And then they start acting different or they'll just leave or they'll just do whatever alpha women do. I can't speak for alpha women because I don't know how they handle situation. Usually they just ghost a dude or tell a dude like, nah, this ain't working out. So that's that's most of the time how it is. I mean, I feel like men have a higher tolerance for dealing with women in general because like a lot of dudes will literally be like, okay, this woman needs protecting or she needs to be like worked on. So like I understand that she's gonna do a lot of things that are gonna be like out of like trauma, but like women don't take the time to understand men. Like it's been proven. Like women don't care about what men are going through, their mental health, um, how they feel most of the time. Like now you got Ice Spice talking about, oh, you thought I was feeling you? Like when a dude's like literally TikTok's like a dude coming home to talk about his feelings. And then a woman's like, oh, you thought I was feeling you? Like, ha ha ha. That's funny. Like that you're a beta male. So, I mean, there's two different spectrums mm -hmm. of women. Like you have to look at the low grade women that will never be married and never be anything more than like OnlyFans creators and thoughts and like high body counts and like getting played all the time, having babies by pookies and ray rays and stuff like that. And then on the other spectrum, which most men are probably going to have to just tolerate for a little while until like alpha males and alpha females can kind of like learn each other which I think both groups are more understanding when it comes to things like there's just going to be certain things that you're just not going to get out of a woman when it comes to dealing with a higher value woman, as same as a high value man, there's certain things that a high value man isn't going to do. But I think that alpha women have to stand out more and they also have to learn how to be more feminine. And then alpha males have to also learn that. But how can an alpha woman be more feminine? That's like yeah. oxymoron. I get it. They have to learn how to turn off the switch. Like when you leave the house, like, I mean, we saw it on, uh, I think it was just pearly things where the female was talking about, like, when I went to work, the older woman, remember she was talking about like, uh, mm -hmm. where she was like, when I went to work, I was masculine. Like I handled, I did work like the boys, like the men, blah, blah, blah. And when I came home, she was like, I rubbed my man's feet. I cooked him dinner, like pleased him, all this other stuff. She was like, I was feminine. Like I was literally got out of my work clothes, took a shower, put something on that he liked, essentially just being like, yo, I'm your wife. Like I'm your girl. Like this is some place that you should come home to and be like, yeah, like I'm chilling. So yeah, but but men ain't shit. So it's not gonna happen. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Well, the man ain't shit. Who these women are allowing to enter them and see them because them dudes are acting on impulse alone, like. Yeah, that's how awkward the whole situation is, to be honest. Like, low key, like, I mean, that's the thing. And that's the thing, too, is like a lot of these dudes who are just going to the gym all the time. Like, they aren't even women, right? Because there's just schedules and their routines are so, like, in great. Like, in order for a man to go through that type of mental trauma to just be like yo i am going to the gym every single day no matter what goes on in my life some yeah. some dudes just like that shit some dudes just like to but like for the dudes who just like literally had to push themselves to change because either they were fat they were not desirable by women and then it's like 
it builds that confident up, that confidence up. You get in a mentality where it's like, okay, women didn't want me when I was fat and gordy and broke and all this other stuff. But now that I'm up, women want me. So like, mm -hmm. why would I want them? Because now women, like you're going to see like these basic women are going to throw themselves at you. And it's like, mm -hmm. now you have the pick of the litter. So it's like a lot of dudes are just like, well, I'm not trying to get a chick pregnant. I'm not trying to like deal with all this emotional bullshit. I'm not trying to like get off my routine because there's another video I sent to you where it was talking about um, manipulation from women doesn't look like like sometimes it's not something that you can see. But we'll we'll do that yeah, on another right. one. Yeah. So essentially what she did was she came in he was like yo i'm playing a video game i need a mental break from everything and she flipped it into oh you need a break from me too and he was like oh i didn't think about it like that and then he instead of like decomposing and getting into his like like mental space he gives all his attention to his girl and then from there like when does he actually have a break never so but with that being said, uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. And until next time. But if you don't hit that bell notification and that sub button, you won't know that we posted a video next time unless we randomly pop up on your algorithm. So to get the latest and greatest from Solomon's Crown, hit that button. Appreciate y'all. And uh, thank you to the... Bro, why is this man so abrasive? Like, but we appreciate the 126, I think we're at now. Followers, subscribers. 27, get right. Yeah. 127. Big facts. So once we hit 1,000, we'll have a community meeting where Pop is going to make some uh, Caribbean jerk chicken. Uh, his no, own special no, recipe. No. Yeah, yeah, He's Jamaican, bro. So uh, he's going to uh, make some Jamaican That's, that's cap. He that's, said he's got the oxtail on deck. He said he's got the, the curry life, goat man. rice. Yeah. yeah. He said all that stuff. Oh, he said he got the Jamaican nah. patties on deck, bro, with the sauce. Yeah. Yeah. He's in, in Okinawa. Yeah. He said, yo, straight from Yeah, don't, don't let this guy lie to you. <laughs> don't, don't let this guy lie to you, bro. I've seen that man in the kitchen. So, uh, all jokes aside, uh, we appreciate everybody that follows us and supports us. So until next time, stay humble out here.